Good morning, Short Stacks family. What's going on, guys? Today is Thursday, February 25th, 2021. Guys, take a look at this. <laughs> man, I don't know if I did something in a previous life or some other time, but man, this is just not a good week. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I thought things were looking good. This morning I woke up, things were going up, uh, you know, 146. We were making good progress, and then bam, it's down again. Um, that's okay, man. You know, like, this stuff happens. We can't expect to go from this number all the way here and then bounce right back up again to, like, we're, like, at the 170s mark again, guys. This, this sort of stuff, just because it can fall down in a few times, you know, in a, in a short time frame, it does, that doesn't mean it comes back up again. Guys, think of when you work out, okay? When you work out, how long does it take for you to put on, like, any muscle, to do any exercise? It takes forever. <laughs> how long does it take to, to revert back from it? <laughs> you can do that in two weeks. So, it's a similar thing with the stock market, guys. This is just part of its, like, back and forth nature. Um, <clears throat> let's see how... I haven't changed any of the plays. Everything is, you know, the same way that it's been. Uh, Neo is doing this. I think Neo is actually having its earnings come out. Uh, you know, I think in, uh, what, I think next week, March 4th, I believe. I, I want to say it's the 4th, or the 4th or the 1st. I, I, can't, I can't remember right now. Um, they're having earnings coming out, so this is, uh, this is dipping right now. Guys, I still, I'm telling you, Neo, anytime you buy it in 2021, is going to look so cheap if you look at it in 2026, guys. The whole entire market is about, this is the point I've been emphasizing in all these videos. How far out do you want to be looking at the stock? You know, how far out do we want to see that we're in the red? You know, I'm in the red if I look at it for today. I'm in the red if I look at it the one week. But look, if we do three months, I'm still up, you know, 37%. Um, you know, none of my plays have changed. Zometica is still the same thing. Guys, with Zometica, dollar ninety, man. Remember, I gave you the example yesterday. I gave you that example, how I would have done the buy orders, things like that. Um, you know, this is still giving you another buy, buy, buy zone right now if you wanted. Because the thing is, I was looking up the reports uh, the other day. You look up the big hedge funds who have bought in on this, Vanguard, BlackRock. None of them have, uh, they're not selling. They're not selling. <laughs> They're keeping their positions in this. They have like millions of dollars in this company, guys. Now, here's the thing with Zometica. We don't know. This is the big problem with Zometica, guys. We don't know if how well this true form of product is really going to do. You know, I can sit here and talk all day long of how important thyroid medication is, how important it is to diagnose this on the spot, how to like diagnose like, like you know, your adrenal diseases, Cushing's and, you know, whatever. We don't really know the actual application of this in veterinary practice. We can make speculations on it. We can make the best estimates that we want. Oh, a lot of uh, vets are going to be using it. It's going to be so efficient. It's cheap. The reality is, guys, it's all speculation. So trust me, that I've been in this game long enough to know you cannot just go based off of speculation. And that's why for this play, all I can say is leading up to True Forma, which is end of March the, that they're putting it. I think it's the 30th of March they're putting it out. We're going to see another run up, guys. This this company is going to get another run up leading up to that, uh, leading up to that, leading up to that announcement. And really, people have been asking in the comments what I'm planning to do if I'm going to keep it or what's my play with it. I can't say. I can't say right now what I'm going to be doing with Semedica after that announcement because it depends. It really depends because I don't know how well that product is going to do. Maybe we'll just leave some shares in. Or maybe we'll take them all out. Maybe not sell at all. It depends, guys, because all I can tell you is what our plan is up to March 30th, though, on this play. And that's the way we have to play the game, guys. Every single one of these stocks that you see in my portfolio, and, and you should have the same thing in your head, too, in your portfolio, you guys should be having, well, this stock, this is what its job is. Like for me, Neo, I'm holding this so I'm giving this to my kids and grandkids. MP might be the same thing. STPK, you know, I have stuff like that. Rocket Mortgage, you see, what was my play on this, guys? Remember I told you over the weekend. This one I wanted to keep up to the earnings report and things like that. Now, I'll tell you, I'll be honest. Right now, I'm a little bit afraid of uh, this company. And it's not because I'm afraid of what I was saying before. I do think they're going to do very well in their earnings. I do think that they're going to do a good job in all of that. The problem is, guys, in this market, 
when the earnings come out, even if they're positive, which I really think, look, if you look at the bottom here, the, their earnings have been better in all of these quarters that they've done it. Um, the problem is in this market, just because you have good earnings does not always correlate to the stock price going up. You know, I showed you that example. Apple killed it on their last quarter of reports and then their stock tanked. So I don't want to say tanked, but it went down. So we can't just depend on that. So that's my only thing with this uh, with this play, but I'm still I'm still in it. You know, I'm still gonna I might actually keep it till tomorrow, see how it see how they do. Worst case scenario, guys, I'm okay sticking the reason why I put that I sold that VJC and chose Rocket is because Rocket Mortgage is one of those companies that if you see here, remember what I was showing you the other day? This is a good one. It always dips down and then comes up, dips down, comes back up, dips down, comes back up. And I bought it right over here in the 20 in the 20s range. So worst case, guys, I have a very good feeling. At the very worst case, I might have to hold it a little longer than I wanted, but it's gonna come back up. It's gonna come back up, guys. Um, I'm not afraid of that at all. And honestly, long-term potential with Rocket is good too. Uh, you know, Iro is doing its thing. Zometica, all of my plays are doing this. Now, this is something I want to say here. So remember I told you over the weekend what I was planning to do with the money I made from Rocket? I wanted to put it in Sidious and Sensonics. So I'm going to pull up Sensonics, guys. I was initially saying I was going to buy this this week, uh, that I was going to buy it after I sold the Rocket Mortgage Play. I'm actually thinking of buying this next week or the week after. So, And I'll tell you why, because here, you see this, there that Q4 uh, 20, that when they're gonna do this. Guys, they, I was looking it up. They're actually expected, to, okay, March 4th, so that's the date. They're actually expecting to lose, they're gonna be below that margin this time. So what that should do is it's gonna drive the price down a bit, you know? Uh, we may be able to scoop up these shares maybe around like the $3 mark, you know, three, I mean, if we could hit it at two, in the twos, oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, all, go all in on that. Uh, I'm gonna load the boat with this. So. I still think Sensonix is for our next like one, two year play. Sensonix is gonna be a long term play like that. Um, this is gonna be one I'm gonna keep at least till the FDA thing, at least till the FDA approval. Uh, so for the rest of 21 at least. And I'm just hoping that once this report comes out, the, they give their earnings report, this is gonna dip a little bit more and then we'll do that. So I just wanted to say that if you guys haven't gone in on Sensonix, don't think it's too late. In fact, you might have done yourself a little good by waiting right now because uh, you might be able to get a cheaper deal and for those of you guys who are already in it don't worry <laughs> I, I wouldn't worry guys just it, let's say you bought it right here you were that person who bought it at five trust me i've been that person too um you bought it at 525 don't even worry in in a in, if you hold it long enough guys this is going to give you beautiful returns beautiful returns so don't don't think about it too much it's just for people who haven't gotten in they're in like my boat we're going to play this a little bit cool. We might just get in a little bit later than uh, than what we were thinking initially. And uh, Sidious is it's hovering almost close to the in the dollar range. So we may be able to get a good opportunity coming up on this one too. So we'll see about that. Um, yeah, guys, I think, you know, I'm looking through this entire market. You know, it's yesterday we had a little bit of a green day. Today we're having a little bit of a red day. So, you know, what can we expect, you know? The, the market's just kind of cooled off and quite honestly guys that's that's what's supposed to happen you know it can't be every day is going to be green <laughs> every day cannot be green and these sort of like pullbacks it's kind of good to have because i want you to see this i want you to see my trajectory here guys you see this yeah this is a huge run-up i had leading up onto the ninth eighth ninth time but if you draw the line out like if you could draw this line from right here at the beginning all the way, you see, you see this guys, it ends up correcting itself. So it still follows that same linear pattern, same linear pattern. And that's how the market can fix itself guys. Now this is my, my portfolio and you know, my portfolio is not the most diverse. Um, I, I have some, uh, more risky plays than some other people and I, I went I went pretty heavy on some of these plays which I really had high conviction in and that's how we have to do things all right guys if uh, if we got the right conviction on a play we do our proper DD we cannot just worry and then sell it because it's red we can't just like we, we cannot do it 
it all depends on your scope of time. You never lose money in the stock market. You will never lose money in the stock market if you don't sell. That's, I'm, I'm going to say that. You've never actualized the loss until you, uh, and, and on the same, and the same point, you have never actually made money until you, until you sell as well. You've never actually made money until you have sold it. So understand that guys, the, the, this is a really important because some, some people, especially in the, I, I did this to myself, you see this thing, tank, 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 and then you're going to sell and you know what you're going to do? You're going to sell at such a low point, but if you were to just hold it, you just hold it. And especially if you did the proper DD before you went into these plays, Guys, if you just hold it long enough, it's gonna come up again, and it's you're gonna be making you're gonna be making money. You you, you know that's how it's supposed to be. Um, hey guys, not much of an update in general for you today. Like, you know, things have been uh, cooling off. Man, <laughs> just another red day. I am so tired of seeing red. I, I I try to stay positive for you guys. I'll be real. I'm trying to stay positive for you guys, but. Uh, and I am positive. I know it's going to come up again, but it, I know it feels nice to see green. You know, it gets so annoying. Always like open up your opening up the portfolio. Oh, another red day, another red day, another red day. <laughs> Sometimes this stuff happens though, guys. You just have to go through it. You know, the old, think of it this way. There's nothing worth having in life if it came easy. You know, nothing worth having in life comes easy. So, you know, part of this is part of the, it's part of the game, guys. If we, you think we can just go all in on the right play every single day of the week and then double our money, double our money. Come on, get out of here. This is, I'm so, some of these people on YouTube are saying double your money, double your money, double your money. Yeah, but in what time frame? <laughs> in what time frame? I can tell you that you can double your money so easily. Put in the S&P 500. You'll double it if you live like, like enough time, if you live like long enough. Go ahead. That's not, you know, people like to say these buzzwords, guys. I'm here trying to show you the real deal. I've been in this game long enough now that I think I have enough, like, I have enough knowledge that I can, I want to pass it on because I've made enough mistakes is why I want to share this. I'm not sharing this knowledge because I'm some millionaire who, you know, I started out, I had someone teach me and I did that. No, 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 guys. My background is very different than a lot of these other YouTubers who have been posting, you know, all this success and things like that. I, I learned my I learned what worked and what didn't work by making a lot of money and then losing a lot of money. And then I saw, well, this works at this time. This doesn't work at this time. So this is how we need to play it, guys. And I started this channel in 2021 specifically because of that, because so many people got in on the biggest bull run we've had in such a long time. Uh, I'm going to give some basic terminology. So for, for my newbies out there, if you don't know, when, whenever you hear this word bullish, bearish, bullish means th think of like a bull and like, you know, if you get hit by a bull, it's going to throw you up in the air. That's what we say in the stock market game. That means the market's going up. So if someone says, oh, it's a bull market, that means it's, you know, it's green. If someone says it's bearish, think of a bear like stomping down on you <laughs> in your entire portfolio. That's, that means it's going down. It's red. Um, and that's why I started this channel, guys, because we just came out from the biggest bull run and so many people got in and I'm happy they got in. But you see, guys, what are you supposed to do when it turns red? That's what I want to show you. When it turns red, you cannot panic. You do not sell. And that is all that is all depending. You know, you did your proper research before you get in these plays, guys. Don't just hop in a play because you see 20 different YouTubers talking about it. I, I, I'm serious. I'm not trying to like crap on, on any of these other people and things like that. I think all these other YouTubers are very smart. They, they, some of them have like really good knowledge. But you as an individual, when you put your cash on the line, even if you want to copy the exact due diligence the other person on the screen is doing, please pull it up on your own computer, type in those exact words, pull up that exact spreadsheet and read it yourself. It only takes an hour, guys, hour or two max. You can do it. I'm serious. Because the, the reason why I say please do, when I say do your due diligence like this, because when days like this happen and it's turning red, you will not sell because you you look at it yourself. You're not just going off of what somebody on the video has shown you. And like, this is why, guys. Um, I just want everyone here to make money, family. You know what I'm about here, right? We're, we're, we're going to make a million dollars. We're all going to become millionaires here. This is not, uh, <laughs> I don't want to just be a millionaire on my own. This is not my journey, guys. This is our journey. This is our journey. It's, it's our community, guys. Um, a lot of these other like uh, YouTube channels, they operate differently than, than what I'm trying to do here. 
I'm not trying to make this a play where I tell you what, I, what all my things are, you know, where I just show you, hey, this is what I'm doing, you know, get in on this. I think this is, no, I give you guys suggestions of what I'm thinking of. And you guys have every right to call me out and say, hey, this is not the right, this, this might not be a good play. This might not be right. You're not thinking. Show that to me. And I, and you, you know, it's feedback. I show you something. You guys show me something. You know, some of these plays here, this Sensonix, uh, Sidious Pharma, I found out from you guys. I would have never known about this if I never read your comments and said to look into this. So shout out to you guys who've, who've shown me these stocks. Seriously, um, this is the family, all right? This is the family that we're growing here, and this is the way I like to operate it. I haven't seen anyone being negative here. No one's being rude. No one's being, like, disrespectful. No matter how much money you've had, no much, how many losses, things like that. Guys, that's how we do it, okay? That's how we do it. Because screw all the other people. <laughs> Seriously, screw them. Because some of these people... You can take advice from, but are they really going to show you their portfolio like this? Are they really going to show you day in, day out like that? There's a reason they crop their screens, guys. I can easily crop. If I crop this thing to the bottom and left, right, you won't be able to see some of the things. You, I can easily make my portfolio seem green today, very easily. I can deposit 20 grand in today, and guess what that's going to do? It's going to make it seem like I just made money. Like, come on, you know? I, 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 I just don't like that, you know. Um, guys, let me know if you're tired of these rants, all right? <laughs> anyway, it's Thursday, February 25th. You know, one more day left for, before the end of the week. Enjoy. Take care, all right? Stay happy and healthy, guys, all right? Take care. Bye.